era. Jordan is finding out more. Yes, I'm joined this morning by Kyle Yemseth. He is actually the founder and CEO of GNB Digital Management. You manage social media influencers. Who knew that they actually had a representation out there? But it's very important because it is now a very lucrative business. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. You know, so we're in a different time right now with COVID-19. Everyone's still on their phones. But what is it like now? How can you become successful? You know, a lot of kids on TikTok, Instagram in this sort of day and age now. That's a great question. And as the founder of GMB Digital Management, I get that question all of the time. So much so that we created a college of influence just to handle that question alone. But really, it's two things. It's a passion for creating great content and even more so a passion for harboring a community, building a community, trying to connect with people. That's what really matters. And they're doing that through, you know, uh, blogs and photos as well. Now, as we go and continue to maneuver through uncertain times, where do you see the influence going as far as, you know, maybe in the, the next year or so? Now, uh, the influencer marketing industry is said to be up, or worth upwards of 15 billion in the next few years. So I, I purely believe, I totally believe that this is going to be worth, uh, or that this is going to be so much more important, like a hundredfold on the importance in this next year, especially as influencers become more credible about social justice topics, you know, about helping other uh, countries out during this time, getting great information out about health and wellness mm -hmm. during the times of the pandemic. You know, Kyle, you've worked with some successful uh, social media influencers. What are your top tips, maybe your do's and don'ts for maybe someone at home who see these posts and they want to be just like some of these influencers? What's, what's your biggest, best tips there? The, the number one tip I can give everybody out there on how to actually start a trajectory to become an influencer is really to do your research. Um, and there's so much great information out there. Like we offer courses in, in digital um, influence, but it's really about, you know, reading what people are interested in, what are the platforms, and how do you really work with the platforms to create great content that's going to reach the broadest audience. So a lot of it is just research and really knowing what you're talking about. Is it also having the most followers? Is that how someone like you as a manager takes notice of someone? It's partially about followers, but really that's a bandwagon thing. I think it's more about really what the people are saying as individuals and how that connects to another person. Like, why do I believe they're credible based on my interest in what they're talking about versus just necessarily how many followers they have? Awesome. All right, Kyle, thanks for being with us. Uh, coming up in our next half hour, though, we'll talk about how brands are actually using social media influencers in these day and age and getting people to buy their products as well as head into the store. So we'll talk with you in about 30 minutes and we'll get you other information that's on our website as well as on our screen as well. Tina, back to you. All right, sounds good. Thanks.